Tene tak hasin kentule kasin ke kapsula cerdo pardo la namba ye ye penani ni pa cek pardo ti cek pardo ti la ta cetang ke ce kapsu tene ta ti ke temrem tinzo kande sini yungi ye pa cek ta tene ti jisu Tene tadi temen temen tu cari kapsul dengan rancu ke nyamling kan dia nangku ke ya pada tadi korte si barat lah. Tadi ringke kapsul lah. Cari lampu ke lampu ke apa? Tadi kor lah. Tadi nyamling tan nyamling tu baju jauh na. Tadi kor lah. Tadi lampu ada gomna pe pentol cembung yang dia baca. Si. Tadi lampu ada yang lampu lah. Tene ta tanda jatang ke poe tu tan, tene poe dang ba tan, tene poe lea la jara wate ta rimba jinto la song yu arre la. Tene te yang jatang ke poe te, ta jatang ke ontu se na, tene nam jor pa pe che parchi, nyam tu che parchi, tene zo la tam poe guhi o mare. Rangin ki tini tapi kinkan na pepa yin na yon rong. Rangin ki tini ngambar zubar san jepa yin na yon rong. Tini ta te ta gu ke chepar tam papa yun gu yu are la. Tini yin na yon ta te ta gu ke kakhi gen pua japa ke chol. Nzi yu are song tan ta te gen nang to song na. Tini jagar ni loban luduk pua nang gu ke chol ta. Tene je marbal pen di ina je marbal waca tene tangpo domi mati tene tanda marbal waca latem marbal waca tene kuluya sani tene tang ngaransom poa jamnan tene je jagure sani tene usik te ya yal yal poa ni tene te ino ni wek kato ngatong tempat chun chun je Tengke nam kala yang pak ni nam kala tu cut tempat. Cepa ngan sepak ni. Cepa dia yang pak sang tu. Oh, saya jadi salah bayar wujud tu. Oh, nah, tenda gel tak lojut di situ ada lah. Tapi tenda itu tak tanda cuci mampu ke tak tenda sini. Wek nam bandar botan tenda kacang kengur sang tiga la jauh ni tenda wek karbo jai cang. Tapi wek karbo ti nam kala ya cici 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 ni ni, ti ni jadah wek dah tinggi ke nampi nam kala cakap gupa tak ti ni tu top dapat tak ti ni nampi mampu nang yo peluju dapat ti ni nang yo arah la, tapi ini ni ya tak tenjo ti ni tak tani ti ni pula ni ni gugur yo mari tak kongri jujur ke nampi tempat arah la, ti ni tak tanda ngaran so Pua gubati kan dari sana kita ke mencuma nangjur banyak nyamto cuci ya pak terma sih pak tak tinju ke pua jago yore semua. Continuing from where we left off yesterday afternoon, from among the four bardos or intervals, we're still concerned with the second of these which is the interval of the time of death. And so far, we've gone through two things about it. The first was the actual stages of dissolution, which make up the experience of death. And the second of which was what practices are needed uh, in preparation for this and to be performed during these stages as well. At this point in our text, we were given uh, instruction on one particular practice in the manner of something of a digression from the principal topic. And this particular practice is the ejection of consciousness. It is presented or focused on at this point in the practice because it is of such great benefit. There are several things that need to be understood about the ejection of consciousness. The first is the time at which it is appropriate for it to be performed. Second is how you train yourself in the ability to do it. And the third is how you actually apply that ability or skill at the time of death. With regard to the ejection of consciousness, 
one should understand that in general, uh, great yogins, those who have achieved consummate realization, do not actually need it. Because through their realization, they will naturally or automatically take rebirth in a pure realm or possibly even attain Buddhahood. So they do not depend upon the ejection of consciousness for the achievement of liberation. In spite of this fact, however, several Mahasiddhas have actually performed some form of the ejection of consciousness at the conclusion of their lives. Although they did not need to do so for their own benefit, it's assumed that they did so as to serve as an example for others. Renowned among these are from India, the uh, great pundit Nagarjuna, and from Tibet, Lord Marpa the translator, who at the end of his life caused his consort Dagmema to melt into light and dissolve into him. He then sat up straight, said to his attendants, if you perform the ejection of consciousness, do it like this. He then blew the top of his skull off and caused a sphere of five-colored light to shoot up into the sky. Many other siddhas have performed similar displays at the time of their deaths, such as shooting white light adorned with larger and uh, smaller spheres of multicolored light out of their heads and so on. But in all of these cases, while these individuals are exhibiting something that is similar to the transference of consciousness, it is not that they really depended upon it for the achievement of liberation. When we study and practice the ejection of consciousness, we are concerned with what, uh, how it is practiced by a practitioner who does not have that degree of realization and therefore requires a particular method to ensure their liberation. Tini ta tanda ajitanga mpua japa kitu rangi mpua japa kitu ta yang yinji mpua japa kitu ta tindi se la yinji mpua japa na yo tu 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 la pap na mpua kuki yo mpua te japa kuki yo re so on re la tini te mpua japa kitu te kanduri se na nyonga rakwa tamba yinji suru su sipa tini ta sa chola tamba kapta Jo mela tempe kapta, mela ona tempe te kapta, ona ona kala tempe kap la sopa, kap la sopa la. Te isena te ni te ya suya iore la. I te imbe chena te ni tanda poajat ni kemari suare. Te ni jigna ni suna tu la pat nam po sa te tu me la no se perjurusi. Tini tu la pap nang tangun ni cewek ke tu tenar la puajap na ya pori mato tu main balam puajap na tini ngarang la jap tini tong tong rosi pegi la ya paten zo ya nyom to si nong yo ada la tini teacher na ta tini puajap ke nang ngarang hewa tong nyom to tenzo siapa nang kini nong yo ada la teacher na puajap ni kemari so ada la ati Tini pula jap ini berjunsi cek. Yang konsol yang lala pula tap ni na, tapi mungkin tak pun pula jap berkap sila. Pula tap ni sana tini ya tengah tanda hek mari ti yang naya hek hek jun rabu je sesung sana tini je kontrol sawan rabu tini yang segar. Kontrol sawan rabu tini samjurung yang basau na. Tetapi negri orang la, tetapi jenjang teacher na, kita angkat rangin pula jam na ya, tetapi kau tu si tita itu pula jam gak baca itu, yang jam pula jam na ya, tu si tita itu pula jam gak baca rezon itu. Tapi tu si kadun pula gak rezon na, tapi dia la, tetapi tapi tentang kas kasing huma kiri pegi, jua tentu cahsa tempat, cie oh di cie. Tini nangge noa, tapi nangge nangge nampu tembik kap mana la, rangi je juta bangga berkap la. Tini kalam ni cerwata, tini malam ni cerwata, tini nalam ni cerwata, tini juga kap sula, pogo kira la. Tapi tu rangi ni ke puas hitam naya ti kap sen puas te kalce kira la. Tini te yang rap tu cang na rangi puas gam berkap sula. Tini kalam cerwata, tini pohon mipa tinju ya po saltap gus, tak cik nang som. 
The first thing is the time uh, when it is appropriate to perform the ejection of consciousness. And whether you are doing it for yourself or you are doing it for someone else, it is uh, essential that it be done at the right time and not be done at the wrong time. The wrong time principally refers to doing it uh, too early in the process of dying. One reason uh, for this is that uh, up to a certain point in the dissolution process, it is still possible that the person might be resuscitated. Basically, until the uh, course or external dissolution of the elements is completed, uh, the person uh, could be revived. And therefore, if the ejection of consciousness is done uh, before that process is completed, uh, you could be hastening the person's death. So, uh, it is unfit to perform the ejection of consciousness until uh, that external dissolution is completely done with. About this in the Tantras it says, perform the ejection of consciousness at the right time, because if you do it at the wrong time, you are killing the deities within the body. Here, deities within the body principally refers to protective deities that uh, are attracted to and abide within one's body. If you perform the ejection of consciousness, either for yourself or for another, before you are actually dead, then uh, you are abruptly, uh, you're, you're actually causing the death and abruptly uh, shoot, uh, removing these deities. Another reason uh, for this to be an issue is that uh, although, it, if you're doing it for someone else, although it's that person's intention that you do it for them, if you do it too early, they may experience it as a hastening uh, of their death, and that could make them quite mad at you, which would be a problem, because then they would be, in spite of the ejection of consciousness, entering into the bardo in a state of anger, which is not good. So for those two reasons, and whether you are performing the ejection of consciousness for yourself or for another, it's important not to do it uh, too early on. So when can you do it? You should do it after the uh, elements have dissolved, and so after the, as soon as possible after the breathing uh, stops. Now, the period where you want to be doing it is during the uh, stages of the internal or subtle dissolution, the whiteness, redness, and blackness, which here are given their proper names of appearance, increase and attainment. As you'll remember, this threefold dissolution process is the gradual uh, cessation of 80 types of thinking. It is during this that you want to perform the ejection of consciousness. Ideally, when you're doing it for yourself, when the uh, first of these, the appearance, which is the experience of radiant whiteness, occurs, you want to uh, generate the visualization for the ejection of consciousness and thereby prepare yourself to do it. And then when the whiteness turns into the redness, in other words, when appearance cha changes into increase, you want to actually perform the ejection of consciousness. At this point in the text, it mentions that during the second of these three appearances, the uh, red appearance of increase, those who have engaged in great wrongdoing may actually experience some fear 
And those who have engaged in great virtue may witness uh, Dakinis and Dakas and so forth leading them to pure realms. That's the point where you want to perform the actual ejection itself. Tene Tati Jiso Tati Pog Dutini Tijiso Tampo Damare La Po Dama de la Tatambo Jangbare Po Jangba Jangba de la Chitang number Nayore Jangba de la Number Naye Benani Tambo Chukum Poat and Longum Poasink number Niore La Tela Jania Hira Yomare Caridisena Chukum Poatin Tene Ta Tanda Zorum Ginyam Ninchi Apartum Papa, Shaja Chimbo, Zopa Chimbo, Mikbatinzo, Yapoji Gomni, Tinita, Tinchu Captain La, Titing and Zingon to Pa, Takasin Kondo Yapatardo, Tanda Ye, Chuni Mabu Monte Pantavoje, Taindo, Roger Mato Tela, Mixal can pull Mikwanda for Tindakayas, Nanga Yomarela, Jay. Tan Longum Poatea, Candidate Tetabo, Tingens and Jingon, the Panjamdo and Abu Marete, in a Jeremy Apoje, Yeram Jalai, Jeremy Apoje, Yone, Tene, Tate, or Tapu Juliti, Yeram Jalai, Tapu Koi, no Charne, Tene, Tating on Do, Ya, Tenetia, Luzang Bot and Tapu King Colasso Paladeaga, Tene Lamzang for Chepard and Papa in Picherna, Tatetabo, Missalge, Talonku, Poor Dangway in Sene. Chukum for a dumb in the young mix of your marity. In a term to Zorem ten number ni latine, pay, young to cheaper change, jelly cheaper Hindu, ten coranche with two lapana, Kalishiro Maguba, Rangingi, tene, Tayan Tapalan, Javion Tapatapalan, Dogi or the la, Tin Dogi or a teacher, Tati Chukum for a long company, Nathan Tinte. Tang Aranzo, Candice Janguri or Siena, then a Trucum Poati Janguri or La Trucum Poata, Sumbatella, Trucum Poata, Yivatella, Sinat Lamen Poasin Kite, the number Ni or Ella, Tatella Gonsu, the Chepper Tate, such a remo, then a Tatella, more like Chepper Hitta Yo Maris or Ella. Then a Taya, Tate, Trucu. Sarjong Pose, the Tate, Narang, Yamlinga Cups, Sarjoni, Gongu, or La Tate, Tandani, Naranzo, Jangu, or a Tijang Jangu to Calcere, or a Tin Tate, Jangsu La Chitanga, Tadama, Soso, Soso, Dama, Mandawa, Mandawa, Lampoa, Mandawa, Mandawa, Gomsu, Tinitin, the Yoriti. In a gumsul son, the cheaper remato tatenda, a dang tene tantati, chick pantabuchil and dog you are tene tatia, nengo underbote, tau underbote, candidiresena, chitang tatanda, lucent niti, tantalinti to nitipare, tacasing a cup of chupa yentola, so long de omenon to nitipi, tene. Lucien y de Yermito, Yermiga number take, Sorwati Shoni, Lucien y de Yermito, Nede do, Lula Sam Gichap de Pantapoteta, Sam La Lugi Chap de Pantapote, Yorela, the Luton Sany Yermi, the Woody Inju, Sam Tikipasarik number. Lu de Pembo de Rub number it. Rete Yena and Taco Lucian and Dervati, Yeni, the dancing and Dervasina and the Chaying and Dervasina and the Lucian and Dervasina and that the Kuni Tigitil and Derni, Tati, Lule, Mandawala, San Nete Pajeta, Tennis, Tati, Cherna, Tita, which is in the Lucian and Dervasin, the Nete Padilla, Tati, Chiri Cups, the La, Tasso Lungan, the Solon de Yoma, Latine, Tati, Ludan Seni. Tanti was in the social darling. Lude, Pembo Dulcor, Roy Nambalanger, Hippasari Tate, and the sort of ten, then a lady just drunk name, drug, drug, you are. Tati Castle, the Toro County, Yungi, you are a Siena, a tenning, a ransom, or taken on the URL. Come but the bottom of a Jerini, your toes, and get the URL. Tenning come but the ma, shakes one and get it. Then it tig nang so at the Tinalang around did the banagi. Touch low the tango grace, somebody take it so. Then come by the case on around slow tango grace, somebody younger la, pete yendo, 
Tene tachilo la tango, Naran Compano Lan, Ju de Banan. Tachilo la tango, Grace, and Batago, Jung Yore. Then Chilo la tango, Pesambatin, and to tell Tachilo la tango, Yore. Chilo la tango, and to tell La, Tene tati, Legi Jis and Rane, Tachilo la tango, Yore. Tene tell Chitanga, Go Gossi, Yore La, Tene Tati, May Nawa Na. Mai nawa na ka tewa la sopa ta te si ya turi gil le zangbo sopa yi na turi gil lute na jie hu na te ni mai la sopa ya lute ke go ni nroa ta te ni ma le ngen pa sa ni ngen song ke ni sun roa na te ni te o go ta sa ni la sopa go mi ni ma nroa te la te nroa ni ta kur ten rir ki chui ni ke go te ni ta na te ni ta te lute ngen pa ta Lutin Zambon, that was a lengthy or a la. Dear Tata, the good leg to Jung Yor. Tang a ransom poor taki the candidate is in a tenny tig and nanny, go tum tig and nanny, go yaku, the Joe Tombo Pagas, a tacapala tela, jetsutanala, Migu Chunjun, the Yorella, Migu Chunjun, tenny yard, the number he but the ten top na, tenny day, lezambo, lezambo sapatan. Tinggal di cipar cinta, tak nyaman cipar cinta kita ini, tak naya tangguh gigi orang la. Tapi ni aja tangguh tu, na, ni jangan rap na, tak topat cipar cinta la cewa tang. Tiada pun maju na yang tak cewa zaman boleh itu bandar bo. Tende yunggi orang la, tete tender gigi cuy ni ke, tak tete yunggi orang, ngalang ngalang nyam tu ya bo, ya pa. Tene ta tende jingi na tene ya roto pa je yunggi orang la. Tene tanda poa sengke te zentap ke gua ni. Ta tene ya nro juga tene ngaran so ke zentap si ni. Ta tene ya nro juga tadi cengi orang. Tene te tanda ta tikap tena la tene ngaran ke mikpa te tena ya te ni. Zentap ke gua ni. Ta jiwa song pe pokan ni ya tembe ke tak ji se du. Tene koran gua te ya po song du. Tene ta tene teh na te jiwa nyamba mahi pa jiwa zang bo na po te lengge yu are. Jiwa zang bo lengba ta nyam to che par jiwa jiwa na po ta tene yungu yu are la. Ti jun sing te kandri jiri se na ta te la ngaran su song ta ngon ka se la nangba sang ji pe ta wa la le jun de kal che ke yu are. Le ngamba so na ta te tena la le ngamba te ndrebo ngamba njung ke yu are. Le zongbo so na ndrebo zongbo njung ke yu are. Ma to ho, te ne le ndre la te o chongbo poka ne ten ro di te wa zongbo le ndre yaba te le ndre yang ta pa mahin ban ra po jin ro ke marbe son ban ra po te son ta te 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 sa wa yung re te yin na ya te mare ta te la ngarang ke tangpo jang ba te ya jang ba te se ti le la te ne ya che zun yang ro to ba te ta Tini tela cewa cewa sampu cilang ni, tini cai leng yang bandar bote si te si sapa, tapi ya na ya ti lutin tela remji remji jang ni, tini remji le sampu sapa ke kokap dapu ti top na le sampu sapa tela tini leng yang benua te remji remji cung tung doa, pernah ngarang tu songju sampu cewa lanju pagi nang tu song na, tini tanda tini Tiada tunti mungkin dia na. Di bawah itu mesti siapa yang pala tiada di bawah cimbu tar. Kalau tiada hiji donjor, siapa tiada pernah di bawah cimbu je siapa yang berkongsi je ini na. Tiada gawat jah cimbu cungju senji kau mahu cipar cinci jila je na. Tini tiga dipa tiga campuran negaman, tiga tu tu negar. Kali ni saya nak macam macam ni apa cinci, tapi sahaja ni yang kacau cinci ni rugi juga na. Tini tiga ngaran cangban dua na, tapi macam yang tak zong, dong, jab, si, tapi tini tiga tiga ni yang kacau orang la. Tini ngaran tak nyam tu la, mepau, tini konsen iya pa. Tetapi sejak ini apa, khusus dalam mampu jadi nyaman dua na, tadi ni kita dua macam apa, tentu kita yang kita dua mana pun dua tu kita orang la. Biar dia yang tu orang ke dekat cimbu je sehingga yang naya, sejujur sejak kita jadi cimbu je, ya na, tetapi dia yang legend dia betul, dia sama macam apa. 
tenen rotu gi ware sa ta ka hi tenen jarwa tam ji na na pe ga ne tenen nyal ware ji pe le se jong go na wa tam ji jong se ta tenen sam yo ware la nyal ware ji gu pe le ji so yo yo na ya ta song ju sen de pe gi wa tam chim bo yin bo on ke tenen pe ngo na ga sin ngo na tenen de ge nyal ware ji pe le de di pa ti chang ru ji ba na ta tenen ge yo ge top ji tenen song ye pa ji ta Tini tai a chen chu gana ni song na ti ne tun ti me yin di chen na ke chi chi gini par se par se song yu arela tini pe na me chen bo chen bar yun du tini ti na ne sa da chun 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 ti zu pa ra yin ki se ngi ro yu ar tini cha sa me ba se ngi ro yu arela pe ti yin du ge wa ti top chen bo yin ba song du ti la tini di kwa ti zu kap ka la tini sa ni me ba se ngi ro yu arela pe na ti ta bo chi se na ta ngara po a ja po a ya bo chi tep Narang kan poa ya poji dang, tini tela tini poa ya poji chong na, tini le chin tia poti nzo, tini ti lu tini zang poti ta nzo tini bi rin bi ki dang ne, tini nyong su nyong ma gu pa si na tini bi rin bi ki toa tu pa ta, <hesitation> zang ma nang tu pa na poji yung gi yuare la ti chen na ta tini chin poa ya gu yuare. And next we come to the instructions uh, for the ejection of consciousness. And the instructions uh, first present how to practice it, how to train yourself uh, in this. Now, generally speaking, there are five types of... The poa ringana ne shimato somendo. Shimato somendo. Joku poa. Joku poa. Longku poa. Juku poa, lame jinlap ji poa. Napa lado. Five of which so far we've heard about four, or you will have heard about four. The first of these uh, is called Dharmakaya ejection. And the second is called Sambhogakaya ejection. And neither of these actually constitute a separate uh, practice. Neither of these are what is normally referred to uh, or commonly referred to as the ejection of consciousness. Because what's called the Dharmakaya ejection of consciousness is to rest in the samadhi of either Mahamudra or, or the Great Perfection during the dissolution and dying process. So it is performed by someone who has consummate training in either or both of those traditions and thereby through resting in that samadhi uh, causes the mother and child clear lights uh, to meet. So the, what is called the Dharmakaya ejection of consciousness really refers to resting in the true samadhi of the ultimate completion stage. In a similar way, what's called Sambhogakaya ejection of consciousness refers to doing the practice of the generation stage during the uh, process of dying. And this is practiced by someone who has principally uh, emphasized a clear appearance and stable practice of the generation stage in their practice during their life. By remaining in the samadhi of the generation stage during death, then when they enter the bardo, they arise in the pure illusory body uh, of their deity or yidam, and as a result, achieve excellent birth in the corresponding a pure realm. So the first two types of the ejection of consciousness really uh, refer to the samadhis of the completion stage and generation stage respectively. And individuals who've uh, perfected these do not require any other uh, means of, of ejection. So what is the ejection of consciousness that is actually practiced? It is primarily the third, which is called the uh, Nirmanakaya ejection of consciousness achieved through training. The fourth, which is called the ejection of consciousness through the Guru's blessing, is very similar to the third and in a sense doesn't need to be considered uh, separately from it. Generally speaking, what is practiced, what is cultivated as a practice, therefore is the third, the Nirmanakaya ejection. Now, with, re with regard to how this is practiced, the, there are 
a large number of varieties. Each tradition will have its own characteristic set of visualizations for the ejection of consciousness. And so the details of the visualizations can vary. But the essential technique and the point uh, is the same. To understand this technique and this point, you need to understand the whole outlook uh, on which the ejection of consciousness is based. Throughout our lives, our bodies and our minds are mixed up with one another. They are uh, inseparable. As long as the life wind or vitality wind remains within the central channel. So that you could actually say that your body and your mind pervade one another. Although they are very different, the mind is cognition, not matter, and the body is matter, not cognition, they are held together by the, uh, as a condition by the vitality wind and as a cause by the fixation on the self. As long as they are held together in this way throughout one's life, the one does not pass beyond the other. Wherever there is the body, there is the mind, and wherever there is the mind, there is the body. What we call death is the separation of these two previously inseparable things. And they separate completely. Your body becomes an inanimate corpse, and your mind becomes a, a pure a cognition, a mere lucid cognition without any kind of material basis. What happens when you die is, as it's said in, in various commentaries, like a, a house caving in or a building collapsing. If you're in a building that is collapsing, uh, it is worth your while to escape. So the preparation for death here is learning how to escape the building at the moment before it caves in on you. Now, since by definition death will drive you out of the building or residence of your body anyway, you might ask why is it important to consciously escape since you will be driven out. If you are driven out, in other words, if you do not consciously eject your consciousness, but if you are driven out by death, then the uh, force that drives you out is your karma. And therefore, you will leave the particular gate of your body that corresponds to the, your preponderant karma and will have no choice but to take the corresponding rebirth. In other words, if you're driven out, you have no control over what happens after that. There are nine gates that your consciousness uh, might leave out of at the time of death. The eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth, the navel, the genitals, and the anus. Does that make... No, did I, do we get nine? Eyes, ears... Mik... Uh, yeah, those are the eight bad ones. Then there's the good one. Okay. So, there should be one, two... There should be eight. Oh, they check the young... Yeah, the other one is the, is the back of the skull. Anyway, um, so those are the, the, of the nine, those are the eight conventional ones. The, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth, the navel, the genitals, the anus, and the back of the skull. Now, the way, it, the way it works is that um, if you're, there are, the, it can be more specific than this, but basically if your consciousness leaves out of one of the upper ones, then you are going to uh, be reborn in a higher realm, in a positive birth. And if your consciousness leaves out of one of the lower ones, like the genitals or the anus, then you're going to be reborn in a lower realm. Now. The reason for this is that the departure of the consciousness from that part of the body is the condition, not the cause, but the condition for that birth. The cause of the birth and the cause of that departure is the karma you've accumulated that is the cause of that specific type of birth. 
Nevertheless, in spite of the fact that the birth you take is karmically driven, the, it does require the condition of a certain type of, a certain avenue of departure from the body to take effect. Therefore, if you can control where your consciousness leaves the body from, you can control to some extent your rebirth. Now, the, the best gate to leave the body, for your consciousness to leave the body, is the ninth one, which is the uh, aperture at the very center of the top of the head. And um, if you, your consciousness departs the body uh, through that gate, in the best cases, a realization will occur, and at the very least, you will have a good uh, rebirth. And uh, this is because of the interdependent relationship between the condition of the, of the uh, point of departure and the uh, subsequent birth. Now, if someone has realization, strong realization, at death their consciousness will automatically depart out of that uh, aperture or gate because it, it is a result of their realization. What you do in the practice of the ejection of consciousness is rather than leaving it up to realization, you force, you learn to force your consciousness out of that gate, forcefully. And if you succeed, you will at the very least have a good a rebirth. Now you might ask why? After all, is it not a Buddhist belief that uh, rebirth is caused by our karma? and that if we've done bad things, we'll have a bad rebirth, and if we've done good things, we'll have a good rebirth. Does not the effectiveness of the ejection of consciousness contradict this? In fact, it does not, for several reasons. First of all, you can only do it if you're trained to do it, and the training itself is, uh, among other things, the accumulation of a powerful force of positive karma. For another thing, you are actually, by achieving a good rebirth that you might not otherwise have achieved, you are deferring the undergoing of negative karma, not necessarily getting rid of it. But by taking a good rebirth, you give yourself the opportunity to gradually purify your remaining negative karma under appropriate circumstances. In fact, this idea is not unique to the ejection of consciousness. It is often said to be true of the practice of bodhicitta in general. For example, we find in the Bodhicaravatara the statement, the generation of bodhicitta enables one to escape, being, escape the vicious attack of one's own actions, just as being accompanied by a strong and fully armed bodyguard protects you from attack. Uh, by your enemies. The reason for this is that bodhicitta is a strong force of virtue. Therefore, it causes the results of your actions to be less strong than they would otherwise have been. And therefore, it is like an analogy, being accompanied by someone who is strong enough and skillful enough to defend you from those who would otherwise be able to successfully attack you. For example, it's said that uh, if someone generates bodhicitta, as a result of that, the karma that would otherwise have caused them to be reborn in hell may simply result in a strong headache. <laughs> Elsewhere in the bodhicaravatara, if you suffer from migraines, that would make sense to you. <laughs> Elsewhere in the Bodhicaravatara, it says, like the fire at the end of time, the, the matchless power of bodhicitta can in an instant destroy even the greatest wrongdoing. And this is because of the intense power of the virtue of bodhicitta. Well, the same thing is true uh, in this specific case of the ejection of consciousness. It allows you to propel yourself into a positive rebirth where you will have the opportunity to gradually purify that karma that might otherwise have caused you to be reborn in a lower state.
Tata Gom Tatanda The practice of the ejection of consciousness always begins with, in each session, going for refuge and generating bodhicitta, as is true of any practice in the Buddhist tradition, in particular that of the Vajrayana. The first part of the technique is the proper physical posture, which is the usual one, the seven dharmas of Varochana. And then you perform the specific visualization associated with whichever practice of ejection you're going to do. There are a large number of these. The most common ones done by Kaju practitioners are two. And the deity you visualize yourself as depends upon which one you are doing. If you are doing the ejection of consciousness that is part of the six dharmas of Naropa, you would visualize yourself as Vajravarahi, Vajrayogini. And if you are doing the ejection of consciousness that is part of the Amitabha cycle, you would visualize yourself as Avalokiteshvara. In either case, you visualize yourself clearly as the deity and visualize the Avaduti, the central channel, within your body. Now the next thing you do is what was referred to by the Mahapandit Narupa when he said, since the eight gates lead to samsara and the one is the skylight of Mahamudra, close the eight and open the one. Well, how do you do this? You think that uh, Shri syllables emanated from the seed syllable in your heart, flowing throughout your body, come to rest in the eight gates other than the, the good one, and block them, seal them off, close them. And then you uh, direct your attention to this upper uh, gate. And although, in fact, physically speaking, it is quite slender, it is quite small as an aperture, you visualize it as fairly wide open. Therefore, you visualize that the avaduti is somewhat flared uh, at the upper end, is wider at the upper end than it is at the bottom. You also visualize that it is closed or sealed off at the bottom. And then you visualize above your head uh, the deity into uh, whose heart you are going to eject your consciousness. It is most commonly the Buddha Amitabha in most forms of Nirmanakaya ejection. Uh, 
If you're performing the fourth type of ejection, ejection through the blessing of the Guru, then instead of Amitabha, you would visualize your root Guru above your head with the confidence that he is an actual Buddha. Having established that visualization, you then train yourself in repeatedly ejecting your consciousness into the heart of the deity. Tene Tarang number Hibata, Tene Rang Lone, Tan Dubungo, the Tilly, Gonetti, Tia, Par, Tene Kitula, Sanji Abomede, Java Sambi, you don't get, you be shamtilty, Joe Gotney, Tenetinati, Shabla Regsum, Sinatini, Mapa, Yaya Par, that it is in Sajang. Tits are Jama Jaita, Tene Tang Par, Tang and Tala. ตะเนี่ยเสียงกับทับลาอ่าตะเนี่ยตันดาอ่ารังเกียวติโดจิจารมจิกตันโดจิจารมจิกโหละเยเกฮอมเยปะเจจิกกะนี่ตะเนี่
Uh, does this similarity apply only to the external dissolution of the elements? Because it sounds like you would actually die if the internal dissolution uh, occur truly occurred. And secondly, are there any specific practices that Rinpoche thinks would be useful for us to try to become aware of this uh, dissolution process when we fall asleep? The <laughs> Tigre, Tene tanda da de la ni yapo che tombo naranza ten hi poi tene ni ku gu gi yapo che da ten hi poi ha cha ten che na ni mo bo ten de yung yo de la ta de la che tong ji ge na na song na ten ni sia sa mo yapo sa ten ni ma ka hi ni mo ho ten ni de la tru yapo che ta che na ni du du ha yapo ngu sa ne it's primarily the outer dissolution, but it's said that a, um, a, a sort of lesser or less intense uh, version of the, the whiteness, redness, and blackness uh, does happen as well. The problem is because we tend to become unconscious uh, as we're falling asleep, uh, we generally don't consciously experience these things. We're, we're unaware of them, although they do appear. So the practice of dealing with this consists of gaining the ability to go to sleep with focused awareness. In other words, to become physically asleep without becoming unconscious. This essentially is done by cultivating a strong faculty of mindfulness and alertness upon, before going to sleep that will not be uh, destroyed by the process of going to sleep. The problem with that, however, is obvious. If the mindfulness and alertness is uh, strong enough not to become unconscious, then it is probably going to be strong enough to keep you from falling asleep. <laughs> The solution to this that is recommended in the traditional texts is that before attempting this practice, you take several measures. One is to make sure that you uh, eat uh, nutritious uh, food. The second is don't sleep for a few nights before you do it so that you'll be able to go to sleep even though you're mindful and aware. And then also you need a friend there to uh, remind you uh, uh, that you're falling asleep, remind you uh, to be mindful and so on. And essentially it consists of, of doing this, practicing this uh, over, over a long period until you gain the ability to do it. <laughs> Rinpoche, uh, briefly, just wondering when one visualizes the three syllable, if you're visualizing it as if you're reading it or if, if it's facing someone 
that, that someone facing you is, is reading it. And the Which same three the syllable? The ones the that, that, that block the, 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 the block the gates? That the de goje kakpa ke shriek de tsoke yi go chiten rebe nang ten rebe. Yi mo chalta. They would be read from the outside. From the outside. Yeah. And is this also the same with the, at the end with the hum uh, syllable that... Hum. Hum, that seals. Hum, the gondu. Yeah, except it's upside down. <laughs> Rinpoche, when I was much younger, I had a motorcycle accident in which um, I lost about half of my blood and was in the emergency room uh, out of my body. My consciousness was clearly separated from my body. And I was up on the ceiling watching the medics and doctors running around attending my body, but very aware that my body was not my consciousness. So what in that situation is happening? What stage of this process is that? Mm -hmm. And how, um, you know, was that a form of poa in a sense where the body, my consciousness left my body or was it something else? That the Lusem Drana, she was a son, so I 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 was a son, so Mankan la trene, then it called Mankange, Mamba Consoke, Lopoke, the Kang, like a Mompa Legio or what? That's all, get Korang, the Kangbak, Toga, the Tonsons. Korang, Namshe, the Tendel Lu, get Chilo Yores. Go Yarn, Ma Tane, the Korang, Lupo Tongiore, Amjitsoki, like a legend, the Tetsu Tongi, Sapo Tongi or is it? They cast Lucem, the Ted's Trousson. They that the Timrim gate, Genanak. Kamatova down, they are penna de poada or a pecandares. Tee, two tee, that indeed, tee some such a lot of chobella to me along with the long long gallop. That indeed got the injury. What a passing injury. He says he thinks that you probably what happened was that your consciousness separated from the body because you must have stopped breathing at one point. Which would be the conclusion of this. So you at least went through the, the dissolution of the elements, the whole outer. So long, good new, but the days, you know, the yard, the days on my good things, so long, good new, but the yard, so to bundle with you, won't tell him. What? What? Says he hasn't he hasn't experienced this himself, so he's not 100% sure. But it sounds like what happened was that. Um, because of the accident, your vitality wind or your life wind was, was, was temporarily weakened so much that your consciousness could escape. But then it was, it was re reactivated, and which, which caused your consciousness to, to return to its place. And, and how does the consciousness at that point re enter and, and re establish this connection with the body? They draw a penangune, shiwa mare, you know, the Namche tets yar song with Kasa, Namche kane tsu zogere dang. Then what was the second part? How, how does it re enter and re enter re establish, and re -establish the, connection? the connection with the body? They the Lusem Gedrawa, Che Tsawa Repe, Che Matsawa Yinang. The Lusem get drawa tet jordava. Rangasamna, Lusem can never cheddar, cheddar, and never cheddar to Lusem and never the young gentleman. So to wonder what you want, Mendro. Oh, no, sir. Somebody, Tantin, Korang, can it do a inquiry no more? In answer of your first question, you probably have a better idea of how your consciousness got back into your body than, than anybody else does. And, um, Basically, the connection between the, the mind and body was not severed. It was kind of stretched. And, uh, it, but it was, wasn't broken so that it was able to, to return. <laughs> Rinpoche, my question is for the pregnant women and the people who serve them, who I work with. Uh, if a being should die in utero, uh, or immediately after birth, 
is the dissolution process the same and are the practices for that being the same? Um, and similarly, if a child should be miscarried or aborted, mm -hmm. uh, is the dissolution and practice mm -hmm. the same? the morange the meo yenzare, nempa yena meo yena. That the chemen so ge pugo chebe kaso, san san pugo maje gon la nan la shigi ora. San san the che san e lam san shi. When you say practices, are you referring specifically to the ejection of consciousness? Yes, and also the practices to support that being in finding mm -hmm. a better rebirth. Power down, chetan so then then the body seems to lack pen beta mumbo yoro. That's what some are saying yoro. Body seems to lack pen beta. Is it not deep into it? Deep into it. Deep into it. Then it. Then it. Ah, deep into it. 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 Deep into the dis stages of dissolution would be the same. The uh, performance of the ejection of consciousness would be the same. And certainly the other practices for benefiting the being in the bardo would all be the same. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Rinpoche, my question probably as much for Lama Yeshi. I didn't get each of the steps clearly written down when you went through them. Will we go through them again later or are they part of the empowerment? Of the ejection of consciousness yeah. you're talking about? That the the power game nickba ge rumba tetso sapo dangamandos young cha sungi yimbe. Young cha cha yegni. Kari de sena teni un impua dangna te lama te teni cha te tone cha gan dan dan teni gom dan mi patin su yege gikone teni yona te yo chegere va. ทีนี้งานกันตั้งแต่ใครเขียนอยู่อะไรเสร็จนะจิตตั้งกันพอจังดูตั้งงานสุดเขียนกับลมพอติดตั้งนะเพื่อนไปอยู่เรื่อยพ
Nangi Temple, Nangi Tosungi Kola, Tewa Nido, Tewa Dampo de the Susuke Tets and two drums of Songwa Yena, Susuke Pena Drempa Shova Yena, the Jelayang Drempa Lep Tugrepes, Sigrepes, the Chick Dung, Nisan and Chitons are the Nangi Tosum La Dutsu Katsukogre. Nangi Tosum could see the ジャンバイアドンセグレバイアンテネノンジトソンクトシテソンティンキヒョセゲワレソンティンキヒョセナンテネカヒソンティンキヒョナソンドゾンタテネゾンゴワレソンティンキヒョセナンテネガランゲセ
Satsang.